Hello, this is Diane Blake. This is going to be a quick one. Um, this is my Journaling by Fives book that I created with a promotional booklet from a uh, master plan community here in Phoenix um, called Verado. And I decided when they gave me this booklet that I would use it because the paper was just beautiful. And I liked the collage images that were on the front of this book. It went with everything else that I was doing, and I thought, hey, might as well keep that. And um, so I uh, left that booklet as it was so I would remember where I got it. And let's start. Shannon Green, who isn't on YouTube much anymore because she has to work a lot harder than she used to um, by working a quote-unquote real job, but um, I do miss her. It's a shout out, Shannon. Anyway, I'm hoping that we'll see more of her soon. Anyway, she did something called Journaling of Fives. It was a challenge, and basically you were supposed to take five minutes per page and just do, um, you would go through the whole book and you would do paint, and then the next one you would do add images, and then you would do this and you do that. There were several steps, but you could take no more than five minutes. Well, I followed her process for the most part, but... I like my books to mean something to me, so I will keep them and come back to them. And that, um, so in here, when I did that, I did pretty much the same thing she said to do. I just might have spent maybe seven or eight minutes on pages, but I wanted them to say something. So I'm going to go quickly through these because there's so much stuff on the pages and it means something to me, it might not mean much to you, but um, I'll just give you the gist of each page. So on this side, um, by the way, I've used a lot of images from magazines. I've used my own pay, pay, um, painted papers. I've kept some things in the background from the original uh, booklet because there were some cool things that I could leave in there. And I've doodled and all kinds of stuff. So um, we will look at this. I love and uh, one's life. I love have a family time. What's the secret is to love and have gratitude. So that was the meaning on that page. Over here, um, get the shine off of her face. Um, I had a little girl because I feel like a little girl sometimes when I'm in fitness. I feel like I'm strong again. I'm not the old lady that I am now. And had the little fitness shoes because I've been walking and, and uh, running or I'll, I'll say jogging. I'm not beginning into running. My knees can't take it anymore. But you'll see little shiny bits here. That's some stickles. It's kind of a glue with glitter in it. It's kind of pretty. And I liked it. Gave it a little spice. Um, and this little girl here who's eating ice cream. And how good can you feel? Well, if you're eating ice cream, pretty good. Over here on the right, I am a woman of faith. So um, the word, God's word, is important to me. So at the heart of victory is faith. His word, which helps me to find inspiration. This is, uh, again, I love ch images of children, because it, especially when it comes to creativity, because children don't seem to put any barriers on their creativity. They will just think about anything, and they don't filter it, and that kind of gives you an opportunity to be more playful when you create. And so that's what a lot of this is. You'll see a lot of images with children. But fragile hope sometimes... In our lives, our hope is fragile unless we have something to stand ground on, and that would be God's Word. And with our creativity, it's just nice to be able to express that. So over here, knowledge into power is a field guide, and I think of my Bible as that. On this side, I like the fact that this little girl, I don't think you can see her very well. No, my lights aren't as good as they should be. Um... She's not dancing for anyone but herself, and she's just dancing for herself and, I guess, and her creator. So don't be afraid. Just dance. Over here we have um, a coaster and a, and a doily, and it said journey on the, on the coaster, so I thought, oh, that's cool. I could keep that one and add it to something someday. So learn anytime, anywhere. Learning is an important uh, aspect of my life. I enjoy learning. A delicious approach to life that came from the actual brochure as part of the background. I like this woman dancing and turning music to her ears. Over here we got a kitty in its natural habitat chasing a 
butterfly, and that would make for happy days. I like this woman here. She uh, looks like she's flying with her butterfly wings. I thought that was cool. Introducing the heavenly touch in this little baby's foot. I just think is something precious. So learn the craft. Of course, crafting is important to me for food for thought and it creativity heals. Calm Relax is part of the original uh, brochure. And this little puppy, his, his little black button eyes, oh my gosh, so cute. Anyway, add a touch of fabulous. Our pets do that in our lives. They give us a lot of love and attention, and they do make our lives more fabulous. I like this woman on the stairs looking out over the horizon. And all that lavender is just beautiful. We'll do even better things. We will change our communities. And I just like that it was something beautiful that we would change it into. By the way, there's lots of candy wrappers here. You can tell I had a theme going there. Um, grow, the joy of learning, shining their own light, smoothly navigate the turbulent waters of childhood. For those of us who grew up too fast, didn't get a chance to have a lot of childhood, we can ex still explore that inner part of us, that childhood part of us. Over here we have, of course, some little stuffed animals that are between friends. When we are a kid, sometimes your confident confidant is a little stuffed animal or your favorite pet. Okay, now we get into ladies who are crafting, a place to share life, and strives to capture the spirit and soul of living things great and small. I don't know, I just like the fact that crafting and art are so important to me. This is part of the original. We still got those little collage people in the background. Arts with a view. That's part of the Verado uh, area. They had a little spot where people could go vid, you know, do out, um, outdoor art. And so that was part of the brochure. And so inspiration is everywhere, including outside. And your kitties expand your, pers your perspective. Power that affects me with color, color theory. I just love the colors in that she was wearing and that she was a little off balance but balanced wake up on the bright side got to remind myself to do that and be bold perfect vision is a smart look and then this expands out and we have sweet charity some more pictures that I've got from other magazines other people's art live well more candy wrappers Mm -mm -mm, chocolate sweetness runs in the family and I've been doing jogging and walking so that means a lot to me to be able to keep moving playground that's part of the brochure just like but as adults we need to guide children and sometimes as an adult we have to guide our own childhood back go back and look and see what that was like when I see these children I see myself reflected in them a heart full of promise. This was a, um, a, a ice cream cone um, wrapper. It said joy. How could I pass that up? Stress stinks. Oh my gosh, yes. Don't allow that to be part of my life. At least as little as much, as little as possible. And keep cool. Know-how tools and tips for everyone who loves to dig, especially dig in your brain. Little planning can change the world, learn how to think. Sometimes this world just gets way too emotional. We have to stop and just think about things, make sure we can um, make sense of things and not just let our emotions run wild. Conversations about nothing in particular. That'd be kind of the conversation you'd have if you were talking to an iguana. But they got that kind of wisdom kind of eyes. I like the little baby here. Cherish who you are and dig a little deeper. Sometimes that's what I have to do. And I've been doing that a lot lately, and it's really helping me to expand, um, uh, just to grow in my own skin and be happy with who I am. Elegance is an attitude, so celebrate it. It's not necessarily all the bling that you wear or the makeup or the hair. It's all about your attitude. The best part of victory is living here in your natural beauty, and that looks stunning. I love this box. That's a beautiful face. Take action now. Young at heart. And this little girl looks like she's just having way too much fun. Yeah, the stuff of dreams. Little kids doing dress up. 
That's the way I feel sometimes, like I'm just a little kid doing dress up. And that's the end of my book. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button and or subscribe. I hope that uh, you'll get back with me again when I uh, do the next video. Goodbye.